Well, if it feels like there are a lot more solar panels going up around Connecticut, that's because there are. Eversource says there was a record-setting 16,000 solar installations on homes last year. But it isn't for everyone. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams has been digging into everything you need to know about going solar. Cassidy. Yeah, state data shows energy output from solar panels on homes more than doubled from 2022 to 2023. But with that, complaints about solar companies to the attorney general's office more than tripled. Common complaints include issues with the sales process, the installation and billing all week. We're going to be breaking down what you need to know and how to end up in a, avoid ending up in a contract you might regret. We start tonight by showing you how much solar costs and how much you can save. Even on a cloudy day, Joe Graybars is grateful for his solar panels. As a single person, this enables me to be a homeowner by reducing my utility costs. It's been fabulous. Graybars has had the panels for around eight years. He says they produce enough energy each month to cover his entire electric bill. He only has to pay around $10 a month for the connection charge. I'm saving a couple hundred dollars a month with this. Eversource does not sell or install solar panels, but they are involved in the process of connecting your solar panels to the grid. Even with solar, you'll still get a bill from Eversource each month showing your electricity usage and charging you a connection fee. We approve that project before it's built. Customer will then go work with their installer to get it constructed and put on their roof. Andrew Belden is the VP of Solar Programs for Eversource. Because they approve solar projects, Eversource knows the average installation costs between $20,000 and $30,000. The price varies depending on your energy needs, and there are three different ways to fund the project. If you buy the panels outright in cash, you can own your system immediately. You can also take out a loan to buy them. You then own the panels but have monthly loan payments. The third option is leasing the solar panels. You typically pay nothing up front for the installation, but you don't own the panels and will pay the leaser a monthly bill. Alex Giles, the owner of Venture Solar, explains how a lease works. What they're doing is they're making a monthly payment for the electricity that the system would generate instead of paying for the electricity from either Eversource or UI or the utility provider. When deciding which payment option is best, you'll want to consider the federal tax credit for solar installations. You can get 30% of the installation cost back when you file your taxes, but you have to be the owner of the system. If you choose the lease option, you are not eligible for the tax credit, but there are Connecticut incentives you may qualify for. There's another incentive in Connecticut called the Residential Renewable Energy Solutions Program, and that allows you to sell your energy back to the grid at the, the same rate as you pay us for, for electricity. So how much you can save each month depends on a number of factors. Belden says to be careful of companies that quote unbelievable savings. One of the things that we frequently hear is that installers will make projections about the savings for solar that are hundreds or $200,000. That's really not a, not a credible estimate. Graybars bought his panels in cash, so there's no monthly payment. He also received the federal tax credit. But for him, the decision wasn't strictly about the dollars and cents. I feel like this is not just helping me and my wallet, but I'm contributing to the community that I'm a part of to make it a better place. Eversource has a number of resources to help you find out if your home is a good candidate for solar based on your location and monthly bill. We have links on the WFSB app. And doing your research is important as there were 189 solar complaints to the state last year alone. Tomorrow, we take a closer look at one of the most common complaints, the sales pitch. For the I-Team, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.